be what we need to really solidify things for our roster. And folks, we are heading in finally into map number one between Team Solo Mid and Dignitas live on Bind. And well, at this point, we have TSM at least in a 3-2 split between A and B. And not only that, but Dignitas holding up real strong over towards the Hookah area. An early rotation coming out from Teleporter. Sub Rosa and Drone here to try to help out. Cutler also here with a wide swing. Ra Ra still up in middle. And Drone is essentially just delaying so much time in this position while Dignitas is getting whittled down to two. Same thing with TSM. An early 2v2. Mordell making a fast rotation. Like you said, Drone sitting up. Oh, he's won that fight. He has to win that fight. One HP on the lad, though, is deaf. He's now in, and uh, now we talk about a 2v2. It's a 1v2 here, Def, in a very tricky predicament. They don't know where the spike is, though, and that's the biggest thing so far here for TSM. Dignitas, Def can be easily, easily able to grab this spike. No contest whatsoever, and these rotations, well, they're going to take some time, but TSM starting to get a move on, trying to feel out the map right now. Def, he has one almost free kill on to Drone, but then you go down to Wardell. How do they play their cards, right? It's going to be about sticking together and playing as one. Left. And Wardell with a Sheriff as well. Six shots. I mean, all the opportunities are here for Def. The spike will go down for the post-plant position. He can't fall back to short. He's got to try and get aggressive into spawn now. There's going to be nobody rotating from that position. If anything, it's going to be a hard retake of this position that he already has a camera on too. So he has his base is covered a little bit. And indeed he does. Not going to be able to ping out anything, but it's still that information that he so desperately needed. Double U-Haul and Def is oh, he's here. Oh, Going to be able to get one. Wardell around the corner misses out. Both players now Def around the corner. They have all that information though, Sully. Like you mentioned, the hard rotations coming in. Wardell really just trying to find any sort of lurker over toward the bath, uh, the bathroom position or if Dignitas is going to be able to rotate on out. But instead, they're fully committing to it. Ryan's actually going to be able to get the kill over onto that ball. He saw him just rushing through. Are you kidding me? Raw Ra still able to get the second. Off of that bulldog drone is still laying around and they have no clue that he's here in hookah. Just waiting for that smoke to dissipate, but the uh, but the brim smoke the Wardell. longest in this game. But Wardell, hello, coming all the way from the A site, able to get himself two, but drone still remaining over in hookah, waiting for any sort of drop. He's gonna make the noise first. Has to get the kill into Ra Ra, but a massive. So instead of the retake, you still have some. Leaning over a new hall is essentially going to be that first contact, but it's actually drone with an early kill onto death. That's a massive position being exposed. There's nobody else over towards bathroom. It's all going to be over towards U Hall for Dignitas to try to hold things down. Triple coverage, quadruple coverage in that one area. Diffuse is going down, but they're just trying to hold things up with the stammy. Brimmy with the stammy. He gets himself at least one back right. At least get that first contact in, and indeed, that's what Psalm is here for. Oh, drone. Drone around the corner, though. Good usage of the stinger up close and personal. Also, bros in the smoke. He wants to explode through, but he's getting stuck into U-Haul, and Dignitas is still fighting this. Maka going to be able to get the kill after. So now a four-on-four four with TSM going for a full retake scenario, but still two players in the back lines, and Ra, Ra ends up catching another one. The Molly doesn't matter, though. Ra, Ra is just trying to get as much info as possible, but hazed what a shot. Drone takes one back to 2v3. Ryan has to watch out though. Lone man in U-Haul. There's one person in shorts just to try to cover it up. He's they take up U-Haul control right as Ryan goes away. Such unfortunate timing. They're running back for Drone. Makes his way in. Mecha can get the kill. And TSM, the overwhelm at the end of things, is now Dignitas. They get left scratching their heads. Huge play is it. It's combobulated in Sabrosa. It's Wardell with one off of this Bucky here, and Sabrosa could get one down towards Showers. Wardell packing on a whole lot of damage on the two players, and Sabrosa finding another back. He's got control of Showers. Oh, Dignitas have the sight. They are not comfortable one bit about it. Rah, rah. He's going to fall to the shoulder peak of Sabrosa. There goes the rounds. And up here, and Dignitas are just waiting for the perfect moment now. Here we go, Cutler on the front line, gets the lineup, able to get two, still trades back from Ryan and Ra Ra. Hazed in the back line, good spray transfer, getting both. Ra Ra tried to get the trade back, but it doesn't work out in his favor. Now Ryan left in a 1v2, gonna be able to get 
at least one back. Wardell always takes his time over towards the A site just to try to lock things down in terms of lurkers. And he takes his time, and now he's in hookah. No noise being made at all. Now it just comes down to the noise being made with the orbital strike, and he puts he's got the no idea. in the he's got no wrong idea. way. Oh, he has no idea, but Wardell makes some noise. Dignitas, are they ready for it? Cages go up, one goes down, Wardell on top, dashing on away, puts him now in a 5v3. Here we go, Ra Ra. Ooh, nasty from Ra Ra as he gets two. Just like that, he equalizes the round back in the hands of Dignitas. Your post plant positions shouldn't be exposed all too early. No one from TSM approaching from either short or bathroom. Now it's just going to be down to Dignitas to see how they can hold down this back area, especially with the util that they seldom have. Here comes Rara Ra, front line. He had his cross there in the right place, just needed to press mouse one, but still nothing of the sword. Death in such a rough position. The Molly brings him out to one player remaining now in a 1v3. Ryan, what a Molly setup that's still going to take the spike down to half. He can't clutch. I still anticipate person in bathroom. And there Get you go. The That's the information. Ryan, he had everything in his view. That was just a good setup in the end there. <laughs> trying to make it easy for him. Yeah. All he needed was out. We paid out two players from TSM trying to take control of that area. And in they go over and short. Sub Rosa with a good early frag. Still has multiple bodies to aim. And indeed, he has the lineup. But Maka gets him back. Wardell in the back has the knives. In we go. One player on the corner at an off angle could be able to catch him up. But instead, he has to run on away. Three on three. There are a couple of flankers, too. There's actually two over towards the spawn area, but they TP away. Well-timed right as Wardell gets a kill in U-Haul, too. The two players that thought that they were just on time to get that flank in on shorts. Well, it falls a little bit short. In we go now, folks. Wardell still over towards spawn. There's two players. It's got to be one covering here. Both, covering up both the long and hookah area, and this is... He's just delaying time in a sense, just waiting for that smoke to dissipate. Not going to be able to get the kill. Instead, Rawr takes one back onto Haze. Watch out for one over towards Long, but oh! Wardell! Sheesh! Too clean! Gets two one tabs with the knives, and that's going to be a fifth round for TSM as they take it all the way back. Four plus rounds in a row. TSM want to get exposed from the, at least from the swing, and he's still going to go for another one. That is insane. Again. So much confidence to actually go for it. Yeah, Wardell always looking for those early peaks now. He wants to double down. Again, it's Cutler and Hayes towards this B side. Orbital Strike goes in. Wardell, he finds the smallest of crooks to try and hide into. And Wardell dashing away before he even gets a second. It's drone on the run it back. He will be shut down here as Wardell trying to pivot around. One shot in the up, and he needs to find something. But it is a 4v2. TSM off of Wardell's aggression on the operator. His cool, calm, and collectivity to hold them back. It's Dignitas on the back foot. A smoke in their face. But it is just the two of them. How can they get about this one? It is going to be extremely difficult. Maka and Ryan to try and give them a 6-6 six to six or TSM to find 7. I will run for the info. Dignitas. Out in a way in terms of spots, oh. and Drone is here again. Drone has been such a consistent fragger throughout this half. Nothing too, too crazy. This guy has been just in the right position at the right time at all times, and Wardell, he's certainly popped off in the last few rounds. Of four. ESM are taking things slow. Double controller means they can fake and fake and fake all they want. Now here comes the push. Solom already takes an early fight. Down goes the first controller as Brimstone for Haze is gone. And TSM, they finally set their sights here on B, but it's raw Ra to battle against. And now just Maka as Sabrosa guns them down. Three versus three. We're knotted up in terms of manpower, and all players are rotating through spawn. Sabrosa in a good position, but he could just get exposed out from a double swing. Waiting for the interaction to actually go in. There you go. Sabrosa doesn't exactly get the frag he needed. Indeed, now it's going to be the double hold between Hookah and Elbow. And there, I mean, you, you hate to see it, honestly. Ryan, oh. just with a wide swing, ends up getting another one. But Cutler, actually, he jumped out with the sole purpose of just taking down the person on the...
I mean, Maka taking early, early control there. They do end up losing Severza, but that's the beauty of a double controller is that they can they can go back and forth between the sides. They don't necessarily have to stick to just the one. 4v3 now. Spike is going to be a little bit delayed with a Brimstone Molly. I think that actually came a little bit late in the passing of Ryan. Now, Psalm up close. Stinger against a Spectre, but he still comes out on top. Drone with an instant trade. Drone back with two, but Maka on this huge flank. Needs to get something else, and it's Rawr right next to him. TSM. Forced back behind the boxes as they look to dance with the 1v1s. But Rara is looking unstoppable right now. Needs one more. It's Hayes in a 1v1. Oh! And Hayes comes up huge. And the showstopper still available for Psalm. How do they go about this one? As there even is a run it back. And down goes oh. Rara's Rempress. And now it's just one. Psalm with a showstopper. And all four are grouped up towards the spawn. And Drone's looking to take a fight now. You mentioned the run it back. And he's going right on in. Going to be able to get two. His position is still known. Oh, but he doesn't care. He's still going for a couple of more, and not only that, but Sabrosa on the flight back, gonna be able to get another one for TSM. It's almost flawless for them as they keep going aggressive in the back line, and Sabrosa gets the fifth for the team. Dignitas. He can still throw it off from the other side of the map, but I don't think they anticipate this either. Sabrosa in a crossfire. How on earth is that even possible for a crossfire, but it just works out in their favor. One last person remaining, and it's none other than Rara. Planted. He's got a chance. 1v5. Has full utility. Two leers to go out as well now. But Drone, there are so many players watching this man. Rara, okay. He actually does end up getting one. It was the low HP off of Hayes, however. Absolutely. Here it is. It's Wardell ready, though. Here he comes. Wardell caught. No! The dash out from Wardell. But in comes the take from Hookah that we mentioned. It's a full mid take from the defenders. TSM Wardell and Hayes. All three of them getting the frags needed. Well, Mac is still around the corner, but the lineup gonna be able to get three! 1v1 now for Def. And oh boy, could it happen? Yes, it does! Are you kidding me? It may be, it may be the only one around, but again, for default for TSM, they're just trying to take away as much attention as possible from the A side, and it's going to sacrifice Hazed for it. Nothing done yet. Wardell, he's going to stay around that A site, potentially take on a couple of rotators, but it's indeed not going to happen. It's going to be a full retake for Dignitas as TSM down to four and one player rotating pretty late into Hookah. There's a bunch of flanks now. Wardell is completely caught out here. Dignitas, they're going straight into the site. Ooh. Boom, and you're the catch of Sabrosa. He's Whoa. stuck in the cubby. They go past so each other. Sabrosa, by. he's got one. Rara with the trait, but he knows where Drone is going to be. I don't know if Drone recognized where Rara was playing at. Hunter, Siri to boot, and that's all they've got now, Gus. That's, that's it. Wardell only gets hit once by his teammates, Hunter, Fury, and he's still alive somehow. Wardell. And Hunter, Fury comes in big for the assist. One more round to go in Dignitas. That economy has been hurting. TSM, had they lost this round, it would have been so beneficial for them. Dignitas nearly had them reset, and they nearly had the round war dealt through a smoke. Down goes Rara. No trade available. And it's Def. Def to try and light us atop. top. Maka not too far. It was one play they gave Dignitas that round where they wanted to get so aggressive, and it could be a play here. Recon Bolt's gonna miss, and so is Death. Drone shuts him down, and now they're trying to flush out Maka as he goes down. Wardell's looking to tie us up here. Needs to just find two kills, 13 bullets. Jumping on it, and Wardell closes it out. 13 to 8 for T. And down towards mid, and now a 5 on 5 retake. These initiators can be huge in delaying and getting info. But Dignitas are getting ready to spur onto the site. Rawatas is out of Lear, and Drone's got the first blood in the retake. Still not a lot of damage as Dignitas. They're just left completely away outside of Util and Maka actually goes for that first peak. But Def, well timed swing. Ra Ra, same thing. In comes Hayes now in a 1v3. And that is just well timed from Dignitas as everyone from TSM just goes down off the first contact. Yeah, great hold as well from Dignitas. They keep all the play out and Nanostorms end up popping. It'll hold the back for now. But again, Dignitas, it's going to be a difficult hold here. Def takes the first peak. Same thing with Ryan and TSM. They drop players, but they do get one back now. Ryan is still in the back lines and Cutler fully knew that. Psalm actually takes one back with a boom pot. Now it's a two on two. One enemy Fun time at least off the hold, but oh my lord. Maka with the spam down. Going to be able to get the kill back. 
And no plant down for TSM. None of that extra cash. Now it's just Cutler relying on the stinger. And Maka comes up huge at the end of things. And making troll for TSM has been rarely used thus far. But wow, Song just runs on through. So bro's a fully flash, but it doesn't matter. Headshot. Som can't get the frag back. Same thing with Maka. And this hold of B is completely knocked down by the ones. Death now on his way back. And not only that, but there's actually a B main lurk. B main flank. Dignitas, they have to find onto so much pressure. What on earth? Sabroza? So <laughs> you good? <laughs> I, I'm not even going to say four by three. He totally saw him. It just totally looked away. But it's all good. 3v2. Now for the rest of the boys at TSM over towards the back of sight. Still Dignitas laying around the courtyard, uh, courtyard area. Could still save up these guns, but the it's slight bit of too. util. They just got to go for these picks. And Cutler has a beautiful position. I mean, honestly, just these post plant positions in general have full up. These exits could be big, Sully, though. Yeah, that's all they're going for. They're trying to keep these players on the site. Death. And Rara really trying to put a lot of pressure oh. into TSM, but they do end up escaping. If they could have kept them there, three players go down. Is Fury gonna actually tack on a little bit of damage at the back line, but TSM. It's Rara. Still a couple of players on the front lines, but in comes Rara. No peek. There you go. Haste finally gets that swing back. Still gonna be able to get another one in terms of damage, but no kill. Wardell quick with it. Only a singular player left for Dignitas. It's none other than Maka having to make the long rotation. And man, oh man, so efficient in terms of that A main pressure from TSM. And again, Dignitas going for pretty much just an all out take, seeing what kind of early picks they can get. But nothing of the sort here, Sully is now Maka. He's left remaining, just looking for exits, just as the last time. Info. None of it. Maka. Definitely in a, a peculiar position. So Brozar, I think, already has his numbers. He's the barrel. Yeah, Maka at that point just wants to get out. It's TSM. Set themselves up here on A. Once more, the doors go down. The smoke goes up. And they have the site for now. The spike is sure to go down. And they're going to play the post plant. They do have Cutler playing off of the Hunter Sphere. And that'll be big as him and Wardell are congregated back towards A main where they're going to scout things out and dig a toss with a 5v4 retake to play against. Right here. In terms of ulties, TSM, they have all the options in the world, aka, they have all the control. Hunter's Fury. This one going to be able to do everything, and oh, look at that. Molly coming in from hell, too. Good lineup. Hayes just drops on in, takes down both Sam Ryan, and he's so ready. Head on a swivel. Make it a fourth. Come on. Just get the ace. You know where the last person is. Go for the wide swing. Hayes with an ace. Holds down the site successfully for TSM. And Ryan's taking a TP into the back site. Hunter's Fury to clear. I think that's how they're putting a lot of investment in an area that nobody is waiting. And while Death finds the first, he's going to have to concede the site and try and play with his team for the retake. And it's Sabroza on this site that needed to go big, but he goes down once more. A Hunter's Fury and an Orbital Strike to play with on this retake. Good Owl Drone. Still gets up the information early, but Dignitas not exactly scattered. They're focusing all of their efforts over towards the cat area, but TSM still with the crosses up. Orbital Strike not going to be able to catch anything. They can still fight up into that back line of heaven. With Cat being broken down, Wardell still on the front line. Smoke going up to TSM, just delaying so much time. So clean from Cutler. Wardell holding down the line. This was a 5v3, and it's a 2v1 now that just gets shut down. TSM. Force players back out of that smoke. Dignitas, they're gonna blast down those doors. A smoke ready as well here for Hayes. Player backed up. That's going to be Cutler trying to play with this Hunter Sure, He's got Wardell as well next to him to try and hold it down. Two players stuck in the site. A third rotating towards Cat. That's Sabroza, but there's been a lurk set up already. Alarm bot at the ready. They can spin around, but they're going in. They might not notice it. They might go unchecked here. Sabroza has been revealed. Flashes go in, guiding lights out, and there's the flank, but there are the kills. TSM. Locking things down. Psalm Blast backed in, but he gets nothing for it. 1v3 and 36 HP. It's Cutler to gun him down. No. A little bit different. Mid control, and there's, they still have eyes oh. over it, but it doesn't matter. Wardell with the updraft knives. 
and that's essentially gonna be it they have full control of the b site they're covering up the rotations wardell still has the knife still gets the kill although he's fully flashed it's just nuts two players remaining for dignitas they're left scratching their heads no way they can make their way back and wardell is still <laughs> on the barrels of the boom bot finds him 4v2 sully Smoke down towards B main. They're gonna try and go for this. They have to. Last round of the half. They have one paint shell. They could clear this close corner, but Hayes playing that headshot angle. Hunter Siri invested. Cutler gunning for them. It's Hayes to take down some. The confusion brought by the Hunter Sphere now puts Ryan in almost an impossible, dare I say, one versus four. He does end up using a paranoia, but there's not much he can do here. They're being, he's being watched by every, and Rara's on a late lurk. I don't know what their game plan is here right now. They have no control towards the main. It's going to be a blind exit as Rara does end up collecting upon the first kill. He's been fully healed now, over healed if you will. And even takes down a second. Rara tearing them up on the A site in drone. Gunned down by the frenzy. Leaves Cutler uh -oh. now in a very tricky predicament. And now Sabroza left in a one versus five does seem like they're at spit, yeah, an impossible situation but for now sabrosa is gonna try and get something done you know just, just stat pad at this point <laughs> stat pad good win for the exits there's one player close that he could isolate And he goes, Som gets the kill in the Now drone realizes they don't have mid control. The smoke goes up to allow them to cross. And all Ding Toss are doing are trying to account for the fact that they can't get flanked in market. They're wary there could be a lurking drone off of the information, but it's death that pushes on through. Cutler with a bulldog. He's got the superior weapon here on the site. Same thing with sweeps onto the site to finally take down Cutler. They are on their toes and Som knocks the bros onto his butt as he falls down in Dignitas. Two versus two here, Gus. And they have got the oh, weapons, Psalm. but here, Psalm, he's got a chance, Hayes spins it back and it's down to just one, Ryan on low HP, 10 HP himself, he might get knocked down here, but he's in a 1v1, he's got a chance to win, but Wardell up top, high ground is superior, and TSM find themselves on to double digits. Can't believe Hayes was actually able to get that first pick, but it came down to Wardell. Locked down in it. Again, TSM just waiting for their opportunity to go on in with the Seekers out too. Drone! That run it back could have come in absolutely huge, but the spray on through this is uh, through the smoke ended up going massive. Saw him now with a showstopper right on through. Still gonna be able to get the second. TSM all stuck in the back line, and they just get exposed by Som. There he is! Som, we've been waiting for him to pop off all game. And just when his team needs him, just to evade that match point. Just be sight. Use insurance policy and drone, but he has to get that first frag. Great eye, but in comes Cutler. Does get back the Empress in terms of rah rah, but nothing back for TSM as now it's a two on four. Wardale gets one pick here and he can get the knives out. Could come in huge in just a little bit, but it's the full util setup Ooh. too. You have all the nano swarms over in short. It's got to be safe here. It's gotta be. They're looking for the exits too. This is a good setup. Yeah, you have the op as well, Wardell. If you can get one kill, you can get the Blade Storm online for the next round as well, possibly. So he can drop the op to someone else and play off of it. And there it is. That's what nice. he wanted. He's gonna back out. But look at these exits. Look at the damage. They're gonna go for it. There's not enough time, but they're gonna try and get the final kill. And they will get the final kill. Had it not no. been for Ryan staying alive, I no more flashes to force him away and seekers to push them back. It's a great delay here. As Sabrosa comes up big with an ultimate. But still, they can't shut down the lockdown. Finally, Wardell off the second shot. And Sabrosa goes go. down and mark it. TP into the back. It's Wardell that now needs to hold it back. There's one player with them in its drone. But here they come, Dignitas. Three versus four. 15 and 15 seconds left to get onto the site. In comes Drone, has the front line, still Wardell has to come up big, going for a no scope, not gonna be able to get the kill. Instead, Som with the classic jumping on in. Snacks down Wardell, now it's a 1v2 for Hazed. Hayes spots one jumping through, knows that there's one on the right side. Could be covered up by Leb, but still nothing. He has that information too, nobody in corner. Only has a steamy, but that would just be able to help him out in terms of the spray. The alarm oh, no. bot catches him too. Defuse nobody on the right here for Dignitas. 
they have used every single ultimate unless death mines four kills they won't get another lockdown for a minute now no priority and Hayes needs to get a pick oh boy hazed as a sheriff and he's ready to pop Good run away too with a molly just to try to cover up the smoke. This is such a good off angle. Gonna be able to get one. Make it two! Potentially a third! Hayes going absolutely nuts. Putting his team back in a man advantage. In comes the take though. Sabrosa up top. Cutler through the smoke. Snagging down some. 25 seconds left. They're still going a little bit faster than we were oh. anticipating. Trying to close out the gate. The stingers! The sheriffs! They 